This is a work that was uh, led by uh, two of my colleagues, along with myself, Roberta Zappasati um, and Taha Magoub. And um, this is uh, an area of, of interest to us as the, air, as the fields of uh, cancer immunology and tumor metabolism begin to converge. Um, we, we're all very aware um, that the ability to metabolize um, Sugar um, is an important facet of tumor biology, dating back to the original observations of the Warburg effect. Um, and so this has led uh, many uh, folks to believe that um, that the availability of glucose is disadvantageous uh, to the patient. And we believe, however, that this, uh, this focus needs to be broadened a bit to appreciate the fact that the availability, availability of glucose in the tumor microenvironment may be actually important to infiltrating immune cells. So um, it's, it's quite clear that activated T cells uh, need uh, glucose as metabolic fuel on um, the same way that tumor cells do. And so, so the host cell deprivation uh, of glucose uh, via dietary means, for example, uh, may um, in fact impair anti-tumor immunity. Um, we've, we've noticed in some um, preliminary work for this paper, looking at gene expression profiles, that there seems to be a um, an, uh, sort of a paradoxical uh, relationship uh, between um, glycolysis related Related genes or an inverse relationship between uh, glycolysis-related genes and genes that um, involve T-cell activation when, when looking at uh, gene expression in the tumor. Um, and so uh, we then went about investigating the effects of um, lessening um, the glycolytic activity of tumors by impairing the expression of an enzyme lactate dehydrogenase, which, as many folks know, is um, involved in the conversion of uh, lactate to pyruvate, uh, and uh, it's involved, obviously, in, um, in glycolysis. Um, and so what we noticed is that in that uh, a highly glycolytic cell line, like a 4T1 breast tumor line, that um, silencing LDHA um, with, in this case, uh, an shRNA-based strategy um, can um, sensitize to the um, favorable effects of CTLA-4 blockade in a mouse model. We trace this to, in fact, a, um, an improvement um, in the ability of CTLA-4 blockade to mobilize uh, an effector T-cell response. But more indirectly, uh, actually, this is due to uh, an, an effect on regulatory T-cells. Um, and so what we eventually discerned is that the availability of uh, glucose in the tumor microenvironment um, uh, allows CTLA-4 blockade to destabilize the lineage commitment of regulatory T cells so that they behave less like a suppressive cell population and more like an effector T cell population vis-a-vis -vis secretion of uh, more effector-like cytokines, TNF, interferon gamma. And so the, so the, the model that we propose at the end is that if the tumor cell is less glycolytic um, and therefore there is more glucose available for the immune cells um, in the tumor microenvironment, the availability of that glucose allows regulatory T cells to respond to CTLA-4 blockade in a manner that they would not respond in if there were less glucose available. And that results in the ability of CTLA-4 blockade to change the lineage commitment of regulatory T cells. And so this calls out uh, a need for ways in which to improve this glycolytic uh, microenvironment. Um, and we and others are looking at um, inhibitors of, uh, of LDH or inhibitors of lactate transport uh, as a way to approach this.